Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. My name is Red Secant. We are here in Atlantica. We just chilled out at the save point and now we're ready to go uh, fight the boss of Atlantica, actually. Um, is this... Well, whatever. So let's get going. Um, at the end of the last video, I was not in such a great mood. Because <laughs> I kind of had a headache. I think the reason I had a headache was because I had the volume too loud on my, um, I guess this tells you which way is the monsters. Um, I think I had the volume too loud on my headphones, and that was just not, I was not enjoying that. So I've turned down the volume, I was probably yelling too, ugh. These past few videos, I'm sorry, probably some of the worst I've ever made. Oh well. And what are those, like, what the hell? I don't know. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna, like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's just move on. Those do not look like fun, fun guys to hang out with. Okay, this battle. You know, this battle might be kind of annoying. I only kind of remember. Well, I do remember it, actually. But, I don't know. I remember it being kind of hard. If I die, do not judge me. Yeah, wow. Uh, basically, she throws stuff into her cauldron here, and what you have to do is attack the cauldron with your magic, and somehow that does something. Like, it uh, knocks her out or something, and then you can uh, fight her more easily. So see, right now it's glowing all blue. That means it's blizzard magic, so if you use blizzard, then it'll, like, explode is good for some reason. Can't you like talk? Oh no, that's that's the other game I think. Hearts 2. Let's use a uh, arrow. Except you uh you will find that you often run out of magic in this fight because you use it all the time on um on the freaking cauldron. So the, the, you you'll find yourself running out. I don't know what what using magic on the cauldron does. I know you're supposed to. You're supposed to. I know you're supposed to, mister. But I just don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, these little guys that I'm, we're attacking right now, they're kind of annoying, but they're not a super big deal. I just said, you can attack them to get some of your magic back, which is helpful, because, like I said, you uh, often run out. Let's go ahead and use that again. I don't know, it doesn't really look like it does anything. If anything, it looks like it makes things harder. But maybe she has like a force field or something and you can't attack her while she, uh, while her cauldron is, uh, magic and not immune. So see, now it's red, so you use fire magic! Heal, please! Fire magic! And let's use arrow, too. Okay. Oh, both of my teammates are dead. I should have equipped some more items. What do I even have? An ether. Yeah, let's use that. Ether is restore MP if I've never done that before. There you go, that's all it does. I really like arrow, but it's not as useful in this battle because we're not under constant fire like we kind of were in the, in the monster battle. Because monster arrow's useful depending on like how much damage you're taking at the time. It's like, it didn't work. Whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't really want to explain it. Okay, let's use some magic. And go fight her. Like, what the hell? She keeps doing that. Like, what are we supposed to do about that? Because I don't really don't know. And I'm getting fucking sick of this. Oh my god. Oh, oh we died. Okay, so much for a freaking no death run of Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you die, except usually you don't have a big old fin. But, um, your heart. Your poor heart. Anyway, just push continue, or you can load your game. It doesn't really make a difference most of the time. Usually it's actually better to hit continue, so it doesn't really make sense. So now we're just back in here, and we just gotta go back and fight her again. It's like, I don't want to do that. I just, I just don't really want to do that, but... Where's my timer? Did I even start it? Ugh. I did. Not. Oh my god, I don't know what time we're at. Okay, let's see. 
We can go to the audio recorder. Take a look at this. Okay, we must be at like... That's like 102. This would be like... Okay, we're at like 6 minutes, so we can go until about 9 minutes. Okay, let's see if we can beat her. Okay, so she has all this- she doesn't even have that much health, so why is it hard to, like, take away- It's because she keeps doing that attack. Is there any way to stop her from doing that attack? The answer is no. So, like, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I know you're supposed to attack the cauldron for some reason, but I don't see, like, why. Because it doesn't, like, do anything. Hello, Ursula. Alright, let's go attack the cauldron. Ta-da! There, it blows up, and maybe that did some damage? No, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it forced her to come back and set it back up, but whatever. There, I just used it, it did more magic. Oh, maybe we're supposed to do it, like, twice? Like, see how it's glowing now? Maybe we're supposed to... Maybe we're supposed to use, like, two types of magic on it, and then it's more powerful? I don't really understand. Like thunder magic, maybe? Yes! Oh, that is exactly what we're supposed to do. Okay, I am much happier about that. So we're supposed to use all three types of magic, and then she goes unconscious, and then we can go do all this damage. Okay, so that's how you're supposed to do this fight. At least we can still have that ether, because, of course, when you die, it basically just starts you back to in your state before the battle, so... Yeah, now we can, uh, do this. Okay, we'll go ahead and use that ether. Ta-da! Excellent. Okay, now that we have a strategy, I'm feeling a little bit better. Now, right now the cauldron is, like, dormant, so that's not blizzard magic. It has to actually glow for it to be a magic. Fire! Blizzard! Er, thunder! What the hell? What type of magic is it? Oh, it's another fire? There. And then another fire? Or what? How are you supposed to know what type of magic to use? It looks like fire. It straight up does. But it's not. Well, that didn't really work. Oh my god. It'll be really embarrassing if we die twice. Oh my god, I, Donald and Ariel are both dead. And now we don't have an ether. I should have equipped more. Ugh. So now we have to get magic back because we don't have enough to do anything. And she's gonna kill us. Not okay. I'm not okay with this. I need Donald and uh, what's her face, Ariel, back. I'll use a potion on myself. We have them. Might as well freaking use them. Okay. Now they can kind of take care of stuff. Okay. So she's using her cauldron now against us. That makes sense, I guess. Okay. So she just threw that into the cauldron, and that didn't do anything. I'm sorry, I don't know what I've been saying for the past, like, two minutes. I'm just like, okay, okay, gotta... You know, the cauldron's blizzard time now. We use that. Okay, so the cauldron exploded. I don't know what causes that to explode, because we've done various things to make that happen, so I don't know which one is the correct, like, you know, repeatable, predictable case, but whatever. By the way, pro tip, when you're Sora and you're attacking, don't jam on the X bet. X, oh my god, can I talk? Don't just jam on the X button, like, you'll find that your attacks will be much slower. If you actually time them correctly, then they'll be a lot faster. So, something to keep in mind, I guess. But most of the time I don't do that, most of the time I just jam on the button because I can't be bothered to try to do the combo right. No, don't attack the freaking dead one, like, why, why do they still let you target onto him after he's dead? And I'm gonna go ahead and have Sora use a potion on himself, then use some magic. See, what are we supposed to do now? It's like blue, so I use blizzard magic. So I use fire, and then thunder. That didn't do anything. That made it explode and not be happy. Like, not explode in a good way, explode in a bad way. I need more ethers. I should have thought about this in advance. Oh well. That's why these heals are here. It's just to get your magic back. Okay, now the cauldron's red, so let's... Fire? Okay. Another fire, maybe? No? A blizzard? Yes! Okay, I don't know... How... Did we just beat her with that attack? And we all leveled up. 
Okay, whatever. Oh my god, I don't know what's been going on in this battle. But, um... You pay for this! Yeah, by the way, we're not done with Atlantica yet, so... Let's go, we must get the trident back. Learn the shared ability Mermaid Kick. To swim faster or against currents, equip this and press O repeatedly. This is true, this is a very cool ability. This makes swimming much more enjoyable. But you can only use it in the water, so it's only helpful, like, in this world. But what it does is basically you can do that, and then you go way fast. See? And that lets you swim against currents, like the dolphin does. That's why it's called the dolphin kick. Yeah. What's... What, what happens if we examine this? No! <laughs> examine. It's all clogged up. Let's look for another way. Okay. Alright, so we have to swim out here, and then we can... But you see how much faster you go, so it's a little bit... More tolerable. Wait, does that make any sense? More tolerable? Why don't I just say it's a little more tol- it's a little tolerable. No. I don't know what I'm saying. I need to- <laughs> I'm only recording like one more video, okay? And that's when we'll fight the final boss and then we'll be finished. Anyway, I think- I don't know what time we're at because I didn't really start my timer properly, but I think we're coming up on the end of the time limit. Um, so, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Next time, we will go fight Ursula again, um, and defeat her and finish with this world, and I will be very happy at that. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.